Welcome to Diocese of Lagos West Lenten Meditation. My name is Venerable Ebenezer Ajayi Adewale, Dean of Archbishop Viney Memorial Church Cathedral. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we give you thanks and give you praise for this season. We ask that as we meditate on your word, you will speak to our hearts. You will instruct us, you will correct us, you will rebuke us and move us unto perfection. And you will take all the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The topic for our meditation is, I will be with you. Uh, this is the statement of God to Israel in history and also his word to us in our generation. In the course of the history of Israel, they faced many enemies, enemies, powerful enemies, boastful enemies, wicked enemies, treacherous enemies with the intention of killing, stealing, and destruction. That was the intention of the enemy. Their intention was to decimate Israel. And so they faced challenges from time to time. Enemies like the Assyrian, enemies like the Babylonians, enemies like the Philistines, who were their next door neighbors. These people came to threaten Israel. And at a point, God had to send his prophet, Isaiah, to talk to them, as we have in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 and 2. I read, But now, thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. So God sent prophet Isaiah to give them these words of hope, to calm them down, to make them cool down and drop their anxiety. The same thing God is sending to us today. And um, this statement has many implications. The first that I want to bring to us is that we are not alone. We are not alone. God is with us. Emmanuel is the name of Jesus. It means God with us. There was a time in 2 Kings chapter 6 when the enemies surrounded the prophet, the prophet Elisha. And uh, the son of the prophet saw the enemies. He was afraid. He was anxious. And then the prophet Elisha was not troubled. So he said to his son, why are you afraid? So he prayed to God and God opened the eyes of the son of the prophet. And when he saw those that were for them, he had peace. So the same thing God is telling us today. Don't focus on the threat. God is with you. If you can see with the eyes of the Spirit, you will see that angels are around you. Those that are for you are more than those against you. The other thing I want to bring to us is that there's a power beyond us that is working for us, working in our favor. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus said to his disciples, Behold, I give you power over scorpions, over serpents and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So as you journey through life, please know that God has not left you to go in your own power. There's a power beyond you backing up your life if indeed you belong to him. So if you belong to God, don't be afraid. God will see you through. The year 2023 may be challenging, but God will see you through. The exam might look tough, but God will see you through. The economic situation might be very tough, but God will see you through. So don't be afraid. He is with you. Let us pray. 
Our Father and our God, we thank you for the seed of your word sown into our hearts. We ask that this seed will germinate, grow, and bring forth fruit. Fruit of peace, fruit of confidence, even as we journey through life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.